What's happening, everybody? Welcome to episode 146 of the Games and Drops podcast. Sonny G here with Finn Steele and Steve. Hello. Good evening. And yeah, man, we've got a we've got a packed episode this week, but we're here again. Mm. We, we are do. Here. We are here Big again. Things are coming. We are here again. Recording a day later than we usually would do, but that's my fault. I mean, I'm just knackered at the minute. I'm so tired. I don't, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm just like old. Yeah. You are yeah. old, yeah. I yeah, am. Man. I played football <laughs> for the first time in pff, way before the pandemic started last week, and it took me oh. about five days to recover. <laughs> yeah. Fair day. Groin, gone. Heel, yeah. gone. I'm just done. Just like, just so old. I'm like stumbling around the house like an old piece of shit for like yeah. the next few days. At least you played. I'd, I'd have no chance now. I've not played football properly for nearly five years now. Which, cool. wow. when you consider I used to play probably four or five times a week. Mm. It's, um, it's a sad state of affairs. But yeah, I'm, I'm back again tomorrow though. I'm, gonna, I'm playing again tomorrow. Nice. Cool. Nice. I'll play I'll football be- until... Uh, since uh, PE in like, I don't know, like year six or something. <laughs> you do surprise me, Finn. I'm really yeah, shocked know. by that fact that you've <laughs> not <laughs> played football since school. I yeah. thought you'd have been like a Saturday League veteran, you know. Uh, I think, mm. you know, playing, still playing, you know. Well, clearly but, Finn was yeah, doing area well. sports, like everything. Javelin, <laughs> triple jump, all that shit. Winning okay. the 100 metres, 800 metres. Uh, I, I, I found something uh, a few months ago. Well, there was something that was at my mum and dad's, and, she, and my mum brought it around and said, Yeah, this is all your crap. Um, <laughs> so she, she like dropped it around, and I was going through stuff, and a lot of it was kind of like old Leicester City programs and mm. old football shirts and stuff like that. And I found in there, I think it was like an area sports thing, I'll try and dig it out. Um, and it was um, a bronze uh, like patch that you could sew on. That I and uh, I got a, br- a bronze in the triathlon apparently. In the triathlon, nice. yeah, but not not the triathlon that we commonly know as running, swimming, and, and biking. I think it was like high jump, long jump, and something else. Was it egg and spoon sack race? And <laughs> <laughs> come on now, you know I was an athlete when I was younger. I'm just not an athlete now. <laughs> Dude, egg and spoon should be an Olympic event. Egg and Spoon should be. That, yeah. that'd be amazing. To be fair, they're adding all sorts to the Olympics now. I mean, Egg and Spoon is probably only, I don't know, 16 years away, perhaps. <laughs> nothing, against, away. nothing against darts, right? It's fun to watch. You know, the crowd love it. The crowd are as funny as, as, as anything. Mm. But the minute they put darts in the Olympics, that's it. It's a free-for-all. <laughs> yeah, I agree, yeah. Much. As soon as you put darts in there, you may as well have Call of Duty in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the same thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, we've got the Olympics is this year as well. Well, you know, providing it goes ahead, which I think it probably will. It will, yeah. I think it's, it starts. It starts July, doesn't it? So next month. Yeah. At least we're getting a video game for it. That's that's the most important thing. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's Sonic Sorry. costume. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That's all. Like there was an astronaut as well. Astronaut. Like, the the astronaut. Track. Yeah. Random. It got me worried a little bit. I missed the the days of old where you got like the the BBC commentators mm. doing oh, the yeah. Olympic video games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Although I, I go all the way back to '96, man, with uh, international track and field. Yeah. The wow. greatest athletes in the world. <laughs> <laughs> and then like uh, button the, like, the, the bl- blog blockiest characters you've ever seen. Like they put their hat like they they lean back and shit before like they um. They're about to do the long jump or something, and they like lean all the way back. <laughs> then, then it's like square and circle, Prepare, preparing you for these important finger actions in real life later on in life. <laughs> and then it's, uh, and then you press X to jump, and then you, yeah. you fouled. Yeah, yeah, foul, <laughs> foul. <laughs> What do you mean foul? Then it shows you the replay and you're about a foot over the line. Like, oh, okay. And then you get <laughs> then you get too shook on the second one and you're a bit like a foot early. Yeah, you land like, on oh, the land on land on the uh, the actual runway still. Yeah. Nowhere near the sand. Yeah, it's a twelve foot jump, but you've just jumped that far back, you've not made the sand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when um, them games started getting real complicated, like putting the uh, the cycling in there. Oh man. 
Yeah. Was that was about it, stamina? I mean, and, and I remember in... Finger uh, stamina. <laughs> I remember in Athens it had um, dressage as well. It did, so, yeah. Yeah, that was... Uh, I remember one night I did uh, with me and someone that I used to work with. In fact, it was Christmas Eve, 2004. Don't, mm. don't get me why I remember that, but um, and um, yeah, we did a we did a 30 event, all 30 events. Nice. It wow. took ages. I bet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because um, you have a lot of shooting on there. Yeah, archery. I always like the archery. On it. Yeah, archery was always good. I was always crap at the clay pigeon suit shooting. Yeah. Until like you figure it out, you have to like. It was just weird how to do it because you used to like when it when it shot, you used to have to like really go all the way across the screen and, and then shoot it basically at the end. It was tough. Clay pigeon shooting in real life is tough. Like, I was terrible at it. Why are you going to play clay pigeon shooting? Classic pre stag do event. Right. Mm. So I mean, I, I mean, obviously for your stag do, we went to um, like the arse end of nowhere in. in Latvia, uh, yeah. The, the back alleys of Latvia to shoot guns. <laughs> yeah, actual guns. <laughs> like wow. actual guns, yeah. Yeah, in a warehouse. I thought I'm I manly. Gonna, I thought I was going to get, well, I don't I don't want to say. <laughs> it was dicey. Well, it was. It this was guy dicey. Was like, there was just this, this, this deaf guy, right? He's wearing ear protectors, <laughs> no point. Um, <laughs> and because he's already <laughs> deaf, there's no point anymore. Because he's <laughs> just been shooting guns every three hours for his entire life since he was born and he was yeah he was at least 86 and he's like i'm gonna do an impression it's not racist to do an impression okay let's just put that out there now okay my friend (laughs) my friend is you hold the gun like this and uh like so you have to put it like by your shoulder i'm holding the gun you can see me if you're watching the video version of this and like like you just aim look down and shoot, and then you pull the fucking trigger, and the gun just like, <laughs> it just like your shoulders, like holy shit. Mm. <laughs> See, yeah. I told you it was fine, and you're like, yeah, fine for you. You've I got no shoulder left. <laughs> yeah. Well, very just call of duty. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's nothing like call of duty. I couldn't be in the army or time crisis yeah. or anything like that. Hey, look, yeah. time crisis. All you need is a leather jacket and one gun. Mm. Oh, for sure. That was that was True. time crisis. Yeah. What? A, uh, with the paper thinnest storyline of all time, you just got to get to the top of the clock tower and save the girl from the crazy man. Pretty much. That's all you need. Yep. That's all you need. Give you an excuse to shoot people. You think you have a shotgun? A real gun? Uh, I'm not. I'm not. No. Don't plan to. <laughs> I think you'd be amazing at it. I think you'd be a marksman. Not- it might just yeah. snap, it'll snap my skinny arms in two if I try to. No, <laughs> no, I, I don't know. I don't know. I think your um, your years of gaming, your hand to eye coordination would probably mm. be like unreal. I think I think <laughs> you'd be good. I think you'd be good. Maybe I think you'd go to a shooting range, fire a gun one time, and then the guy would be waiting outside, ready to sign <laughs> you up for for combat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm ready. Secret, secret agent Finn, ready for duty. Yeah, yeah, let's become like a sleeper agent. I'll just fire, fire my first gun. I'm like activated. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. Agent like, Finn, Finn's, the for duty. Finn Steele, we saw your work in there. I only shot <laughs> one time. My shoulders popped out. Hey, no, you were really good. Join the army, <laughs> and then yeah. <laughs> yeah, be the best. Hanging like that. <laughs> be the best. Yeah, Finn, you yeah. are the best. <laughs> that's the noise from the army advert. If anyone's be like, uh, wondering, be like Fimbo Cop. That's what we'll call him. Fimbo, Fimbo Cop. Cop. Mm, there so we go. Cop. Yeah, or just Fimbo like Rambo. Fimbo. Fimbo. Yeah. <laughs> Fimbo. <laughs> uh, Thumbnail, please, of you with a Rambo bandana. Hell yeah. <laughs> or just your I head photoshopped photo. onto Rambo. <laughs> yeah. Or, or Robocop. He doesn't need to, he doesn't need to uh, photoshop. Look how ripped he is these days. That's true. <laughs> to put my shirt off. Yeah. I suppose you even... Like, I, mean, I think you probably said this before, but uh, I suppose you even have shirts that fit. Yeah. Well, it's I used to be a lot bigger, so everything is like baggy now. I put my shorts on the other day, which was like last this time last year was like super tight. Put them on. Hang on a minute, we're hit, we're hitting dicey territory here. What are you going to say about your shorts and why are they my, too my, my short shorts? Um, <laughs> no, I was going to say they're, they're, it's just like they're really short, um, really tight last last year. Now they're super loose and I need a belt because it's been right. Great. Progress. Yeah. 
Exactly. Because of ring dick. Yeah, well... oh man right we do have a lot to talk about this week um well i think we do at least i feel like we've got a lot planned for this week yeah yeah let's do it yeah let's do it Uh, firstly thank you to um everybody who does continue to listen to this podcast um whether it be on youtube watching the video version or on whichever podcast service you choose to get your podcasts at we do very much appreciate you. Um, yeah, lots to talk about. So let's uh, let's crack on as, you know, we always do. Finn. Yeah, hello. What are you playing this week? Um, well, this week I've been playing um, Breakfast. I'm jumping on that. Oh, wanted okay. Wanted to find something. Yeah, wanted to find something short. So you know, I could just turn my brain off and play. And yeah, Frank Breakfast got the free version from on PS5 from PlayStation mm. Plus, and really enjoying it. It's, it's really good, fun. right? When's, yeah, really good. When it's nice and smooth on PS5, mm. got the haptic, haptic feedback, really cool. Yeah, it's just fun to drive around and smash things. So yeah, very uh, demolition, yeah, very demolition derby from like the PS1 era. I love it. Demolition derby. Uh, what did you have the NTSC version of it? What's it called now in our place? Destruction, Destruction. derby. Destruction Derby. I did in there too. Isn't Demolition Derby? Hey, Destruction Derby. Demolition two, Derby. Two this is the Accents <laughs> podcast, clearly. From um, Home Depot. Yeah, I, Just... I went down to Home Depot, picked myself up, <laughs> picked myself <laughs> up a shovel in a hole, and went home and played Demolition Derby on <laughs> my, you know on what, my PlayStation. Pod- I listened to a couple of American podcasts. Maybe I'll pick, pick them up now. I don't know. But yeah, Destruction Derby. Ah, Out of a game. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Um, also, do you remember the flat out games on Xbox and PS3? Yes. Yeah. Mm. Them too. They're really good. I think, I think they're mm. able to say some of the same people as that. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if I'm being honest. I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, that and um, Persona 5. Back on that. Nice. Yeah. What's the yeah, aim with really Persona good. 5? Are you going for the platinum? Oh, oh. Is it Royale you're playing, is it? Uh, Royal, yeah. Uh, Royal. Yeah, I'm going for the platinum. It's a lot easier this version than it is than the original version, thankfully. Mm. Um, it's really straightforward, so yeah, I'll probably go for that. Cool, playing it. So yeah, to jump jump between those two at the minute. Are you planning on getting the platinum for Wreckfest? Oh uh, yeah, it's pretty again, pretty straightforward. I might as well. Uh, the, the co-op ones, I think we could probably well, the online ones, I think we could probably do together because you can create a private lobby and do it that way. Yeah, we do that. Sounds good to me. Yeah, cool, cool. And yeah, that's about it, really. How about you, Steve? Uh, I have been playing a bit more of Man Eater. Uh, mm. I've got to admit, I'm struggling nice. a little bit. I can't kill the flipping alligator. Uh, <laughs> okay. I need to. I need to get. I need to get the old shark a bit bigger, a bit stronger. I think the key with it is because you you can beat the alligator. Close. So close. Yeah. It's just about getting the timing right and the combat. Yeah. Stay away from him. Yeah. Um, you know, go away, eat some like eat some stuff. Yeah. Swim away from him, eat some stuff. Go back, yeah, keep yeah. attacking. You can do it, but it is. I think the combat with Manny to it, it's, 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 it is quite tough because, mm. you know, usually you're not used to being a shark. You're used to being well, a person with a gun. Yeah, everything. I mean, it, yeah, it's 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 one of those deceptive things, isn't it? That it everything's a moving target because it's in the water. Mm-hmm. I, I know, like most games, you know, whatever you play Call of Duty or whatever, it's, it's generally a moving target. But you think, oh yeah, I've got that, I've got that, and you go for it, and then it, you know. It's, you know, yeah. so it's it's that kind of, and then you almost have to kind of reset yourself and turn around and all of that sort of thing. But I'll I'll, I'll get to it. It's cool. I still like it. I still like it's the really good. To, like, swim around as a shark and just eat and stuff. So that's that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, played Sea of Thieves with yourself and uh, the always shook Denzel Melt. Yeah. Um. So <laughs> that was um. <laughs> yeah. So uh, and that we was had good. a good go as well, didn't we? Yeah, we had a really good. We had a really good. Uh, really good night in it again. It's uh yeah, it's a staple now, isn't it? It's a staple. It is a staple. I mean, we found that random island like by well, oh, literally yes. by accident. Yeah, yeah. And wow. it just had loads of glowing stuff on there. So we're like, oh shit, okay, let's park up here because that's what you do in a pirate ship park. Um, yeah. oh, handbrake on. Yeah, <laughs> and like, we all jumped off, and there was just like gems everywhere. Yeah, now, even you... like even like buried ones, which you've never really yeah. we've never really had no. before. I, I think that island is. It's either new or it was just there. It's there for a certain time or whatever. Because I've, because mm-hmm. I can't remember what the the island was. It had a specific name, which made us think. Well, actually, it, it was makes Thieves sense. Haven. Thieves Haven, and it was like mm. covered in gems. Mm. So you think to yourself, yeah. well, that makes sense with the name. 
but I've looked on online and looked at sort of lists and I can't find the island of thieves haven anywhere on any sort of forums or like you know sea of thieves wiki or anything like that um, that's how deep we are into sea of thieves by the way yeah i can't I, you know because I, 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 yeah. I, I want to know if it's always there and is mm. you know do you go there and there's all, or was it like a little glitch in the game or whatever but the, the, you the added, super secret hidden yeah, island that's no one ever found before. yeah yeah mm. possibly um and they keep adding little bits. I mean, we, we noticed more of the like the visual stuff in terms of um, I haven't noticed it before. It may not be new. So, but I noticed like the Northern Lights and stuff like that. And I haven't yeah. seen that yeah. before in the game. Uh, the moon as well. That's quite prominent at night. And I've never seen now, that before. It's funny that you mentioned nice. that because you mentioned it when we were playing the other day. And Denzel basically said it was always there, but I'd never noticed it either. No, I, I hadn't. But I, I could be wrong. It's one of them. And, and to be honest... People might be listening to this thinking, well, why would you notice it? But to be honest, when you're sailing somewhere and you've got really nothing else to do, the graphics yeah. are that good. You just end up looking around and taking a million screenshots anyway. Yeah, um, that's the so game that I've got the most screenshots of on my Xbox. It's crazy. I've got hundreds. And look, pretty much every time there's a sunset. Yeah. You know, screenshots. Because it's stunning. Amazing. Yeah, it's really, really good. Really good. Um, right. So, yeah, we had, a, we, had a good, uh, we had a good couple of do's on that. Um, and then I downloaded um, Pez and started playing that because I'm fed up with FIFA and fancied something different. Uh, okay, so tell me, got... tell me about your experience so far with Pez because I am interested to know this because predominantly you do play FIFA. Um, you never buy Pez. I, I, I have done. I have Pez done on Game since, Pass. Yeah, I mean, I have done since. Obviously, FIFA became more of the dominant football game since probably 09 onwards um so I, yeah because you know, we we used to always play pez didn't we yeah pez went downhill pretty pretty quick didn't it um or it, it felt did, like yeah. it did um it felt no, it like did. Pez. i mean as soon as we entered the as soon as we entered the ps3 era uh pez really went like downhill well then first yeah. ones on the there's a couple on the ps3 that were okay but then after that it went really bad yeah i had one on the 360 and i'm pretty sure uh, who, who was on the front? Maybe Adriano and someone else, which was okay. I played. That was kind of my first sort of um, first time I've really done any sort of like online gaming. Actually, was playing um, Pez on the three hundred and sixty. But anyway, um, it feels like. Oh, I know which one you mean. I know which one yeah, you, you mean. Know, it was you Pez, know which one I'm on about, isn't it? Pez six. I Pez think six. it had Adriano and John Terry on the front. John cover? Terry. I was going to say John Terry. Yeah. Yeah. Um, John Terry. Finn, yeah. Finn, you know John Terry is yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, yeah, don't Slips his yeah. teammates' wives. Um, <laughs> um, <Nice. laughs> um, yeah, so the the one that I play, you know, the latest one that I'm playing, it feels like Pez. Yeah, um, it's still that kind of more of a, a simulation kind of feel to it. Um, but I do that. There are obvious differences to FIFA, which you know I don't need to go into, but. There are things on it that I think, well, that's really cool. That's different. You'd never get that on FIFA. So, like the mm -hmm. three ball, the three balls are amazing. Yeah. A lot more, a lot more realistic. I think the crossing is is, is better. Um, I'm still getting used to things like corners and free kicks and whatnot. Um, the penalties, I think, look a bit ropey. Uh, if I'm being ultra critical, uh, but I think the way that the players just control the ball and the pace of it feels more realistic. You know, yeah. Pez, uh, sorry, FIFA is. Pretty much all about speed, you know. Mm -hmm. Give the ball to your fastest player, let him run, uh, and just. You, 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 I feel with FIFA, you score the same goal every time, and you concede the same goal all the time. Yeah. Whereas with with Pez already, I've scored. You know, no, no, feels like no two goal has been actually the same. Mm -hmm. I feel um, like with Pez, no two game is the same. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, and and, and actually, you know, it's a little bit more realistic in that. Depending on who you play, depends on how the, they mm -hmm. play, if that makes yeah. sense. So if you're playing, let's just say, for example, Croatia or Czech Republic, you know, they're likely to going to just sit back and say, well, come and attack me then. Whereas then, like, I play Germany and they wallop me, which mm -hmm. is very true to life. So um, I, I enjoyed it. And, and the fact is, I've, I've, like I've probably mentioned either last week or the week before, this version of FIFA... Um, is is the one that I have played the least in a number of years, and I've tried a couple of times over the last couple of weeks to to play it, and I've just I've got to like the main menu, and I've just thought I can't be bothered with this. Mm -hmm. Whereas actually I'm excited to play Pez. Um, yeah, yeah, I know so you can stick got, with it. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll stick with it. Um, I want to try and win the Euros with England. So, um, you know, let's do that. It's coming home. So I'll uh, I'll message you some free kick tips later on because it's rare that I miss. Really? Yeah. Cool. I've mastered it. Mastered the free cool. kicks. So I'll send you some tips later on. Nice. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying nice it. One. Yeah, it's 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 something different and it's um it's slightly refreshing. I know obviously there's there's the licensing and all of that, but I think if yeah. you can look past that for the most part, it's it's a, a fine game. Absolutely yeah. fine. So yeah, yeah but I, think, sure. I think that is that's it really. Fair enough. What about yourself? Um I've been playing Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, I think I mentioned it last week that I was going to sort of go for uh, the Platinum. I'm going to take my time with it. I don't feel like I need to sort of blast through it. I can always just have it on my uh, PS5. But I'm taking it slow. I'm exploring. And, you know, I was playing it um, yesterday. And I realized, you know, that I I really did pay little attention before. Um, uh, as you know, when you when you when you explore more and you see the different environments, and yeah, you know, I think the PS5 definitely helps here. But it's just so stunning. Like it's oh. it's probably the most beautiful game world ever like created. Yeah, uh, visually, it's just incredible. It's it, it really is stunning. Like the, the the level of detail. This is a PS4 game, so obviously it doesn't look shabby anyway. But um. You know, and it's not even had like a frames patch or anything like that for PS5, but obviously PS5 just makes it look a, a, that bit better. And it really is stunning. And the world is it's just so uh, rich and the lore of the game is very deep and that's rich as well. Um, before I was just sort of blasting through it. I was like, I don't give a shit about this. I just want to finish it to say that I finished it and then everybody will leave me alone. Right? <laughs> but but now, now, now going back to it, I wish I'd have played it this way the first time. Um, but I'm just, I think I'm, I'm absolutely in awe of it, to be honest. Uh, I, I play it and I, I run around the island and I'm not running to the next story quest. I think I barely scraped the story quest. Like now the world has opened up for me. I'm looking around, I'm looking for side quests. I'm uh, looking for power cells and, and stuff yes. like that. And I'm finding a lot more, um, enjoyment in crafting and you know trying to better my gear and my weapons and you know just just stuff like that and i'm taking a lot more um care and attention with it and i'm just i'm absolutely in awe of it and i can't wait to carry on with it um that's that's what has my most attention at the minute i still haven't properly started resident evil village and i've I've had it since it came out so yeah um, i I've just not been in a Resident Evil kind of mood, really, because I've had no, this, this sitting there on my PS5. Like, oh, it's not, I could play that. I'll play Wreckfest. And then said, that's more of a yeah. game I'm in, I'm in, you know, I'm in, the mood, in the mood for. Yeah. So, so yeah, I, I, I feel exactly the same. I, I feel like I'm probably going to play Resident Evil in the winter. Mm. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. That makes I was going to say that. It, I was just about to say that. It probably feels like, a, you know, I was looking out just outside then, looking at how light it is and it doesn't mm. feel like as daft as it sounds it doesn't feel like resident evil oh, i'll stick resident evil on while it's still 20 yeah. degrees outside and, and it's nice yeah. and light it doesn't feel that sort of game no that, it doesn't i know that sounds weird but it's no, no, i get it when you said it yeah, yeah i get it i think so i think i'm going to say resident evil for the winter months when mm. it's a bit colder and uh, nights are darker and stuff like that it's um but yeah. yeah exactly yeah but at the okay. minute I'm, I'm really really digging horizon and i think you know, I've got trophies already on my new profile that I never got on my old profile just from cool. paying more attention and yeah, doing yeah. more stuff and taking my time. I'm collecting every little bit of resource that I possibly can. I really want to make the most of it and just enjoy the world and get the most out of the game. Yeah, and it's the best way yeah, to play this kind of game, for sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. So, yeah, I've been playing that. Got a couple of Platinums. Yeah, um, <laughs> I thought... Um, well, the, the one that I got that I'm actually uh, it, that isn't shit is um, I got the plan of the Super Soccer Blast. Um, oh, yeah. That one I did really enjoy um, cool. because it is genuinely a very fun and enjoyable football game. It's probably about six or seven hours to the platinum. Cool. That one gets a man with luck. Yeah, man. <laughs> um, so that one was good. 
Uh, shout cool. out to Unfinished Pixel. I'm um, looking forward to playing more of the next Super Soccer Blast, which comes out on Friday, that I do already have because Unfinished Pixel are uh, awesome. Um, cool. And today I got the platinum for a terrible game. <laughs> Good God. Um, a game called Space 2. Space 2. Ooh, let's see if it's Space 1. We're waiting for this one. Don't give me a round of applause, right? Because this okay. is a piece of shit, okay? <laughs> This it's not worthy of being a game. You can literally cheat it. You get to the main menu, you hold down and X, and then you're invincible for the whole game. So you just blast through it, and you've got the platinum in about five minutes. Sounds good. That's good. I'm going to get it. 79p that game cost me. Bargain. Yeah. God Bargain. damn it. What a, ter- what a terrible pile of garbage. Yeah. That's, 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 I said on Discord, the trophy system, it's so broken. It's like yeah. Sometimes it's just like, oh, what's the point? <laughs> you can. Oh, I got a hundred. I got a hundred trophies. Yeah, and this person got like, uh, like almost a thousand trophies in the world. This is like seventy nine p garbage shovelware games. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, what's the point? But we all do it. I don't know <laughs> yeah, what's I'll... come over me. I don't know why I've turned into this. Um, yeah, I do that's a lot why less I'm, now. That's but why I'm maybe now and then. Pro- yeah, man. That's why I'm going to do Horizon because that'll be one I can feel proud of. And then I'm yeah, going to redo yeah. um, Spot. I'm going to redo the. I'm going to do the PS5 version of um, Spider-Man, Game nice. of the Year edition, because uh, I've got the PS5 version that it came with Miles Morales, mm, cool. um, which I have got the platinum for, which ruled. Um, nice. Yeah, and I've been playing a bit of Pez as well. Um, gaming time's been a bit of a premium. The weather's nicer. Uh, there's Same, stuff yeah. to do. Um, so yeah, when I've not been had my head in Horizon, I've been you know getting a couple of shitty plats and uh, playing a bit of Pez. But yeah, still just very much enjoying myself playing video games, man. I love it. Cool. Isn't awesome. it weird how what the weather's doing determines what you play? Like going back to that Resident <laughs> Evil thing we were talking about. Yeah, yeah. I think you know. I think it might actually be some, something like that. Because just as you said, it's just it's too sunny, it's too nice <laughs> to be playing mm. creepy dark horror games. It needs to be yeah. moody, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, on, yeah, on. definitely. Like, yeah. Like I remember, like one one, and this is peak me. This is to be fair. I remember one one summer, just the whole summer. It was like a hundred and whatever, you know, forty odd degrees outside uh, when I was living at my parents, and I was sat inside all summer just playing Brian Lara cricket. Because it was the summer. <laughs> like nice. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just one of them. <laughs> and like, no, so, I agree. Yeah, it's 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 weird, isn't it, how the, the seasons mm. can probably uh, determine what games you play. Strange. Yeah, oh, 100%. It's like, at the minute, I want to play Forza because it's yeah. uh, that's a summary game to me. Like Forza Horizon 4, great soundtrack, all that sort of stuff. Uh, it's, it's uh, yeah, it's uh, that's a summary game. Like yeah. Cool Boy, which you play in the winter. Yeah. Like, uh, speaking of uh, Brian Lyle Cricket, I found a copy of Brian Lyle Cricket on the Mega Drive when I was going to my old stuff. Nice. <laughs> Just randomly. I thought, okay, cool. Was Let's it one of the on. uh, Codemasters ones with the um, controller slots in the cartridge? Um, I don't think it's got the controller slots, no. It must be an oh, older okay. one. Yeah. Because I remember, Mike, I can't remember if Brian Lyle ever had that, but I remember Pete Sampras Tennis did and Micro Machines did. Yeah, I've got the Micro Machines one. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's very cool. Why? What are you doing with a copy of Brian Lara Cricket? I don't know. It probably came came along with something else. There's only where you get like people sending them like their collection, like three or four games at once. Uh, I probably okay. wanted someone with the game that's in there, so I thought, oh, I'll just get it all. Yeah. <laughs> Brian Lara Cricket is a great game. Them ones on the Mega Drive, yeah. they fucking rule. Yeah. Let me that's tell you what doesn't that. rule. Shane Warne Cricket. Shane Warne. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's the same Sucks game, dick. but brought out in Australia and for some reason <laughs> so much harder. it's just it's so much harder batting Weird. is impossible <laughs> I think we may yeah, have I told think. this story before but I think uh, I either bowled you out or you bowled me out for zero and then one of yep. us just needs to get one run to win yep and that, <laughs> that was it it was yeah terrible if you had it on uh, Dreamcast didn't you yeah it was some it was a some yeah. dodgy Mega Drive collection that I had on Dreamcast because the guy who used to do like the local market, I'm just selling him out. I don't even know his name, but um, <laughs> like basically he used to do bootleg Dreamcast games. So oh, right, he used okay. to um, he used to like give him the look on a Saturday, and he'd like let amazing. you in, <laughs> let you into the back of the stall, and he'd just have like a cardboard box that you could flick through of like CDRs that he'd made that he'd made Dreamcast games of. Wow. 
That's because Dreamcast Sega were fucking stupid. They didn't, yeah, like, yeah. they didn't yeah. put any anything to stop people pirating the games. No, in fact, I've got a dual collection of Dreamcast games in my cupboard right now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I made oh, a lot yeah. of Dreamcast games. I, I remember I was I was with you the first time you went up there to that to the guy in the market, and you were like, there, there was quite a few because it was quite popular, wasn't it? And then you had, mm. there was quite a few people milling about. He went, oh, excuse me, mate, can uh, do, do you sell a uh, copy of Dreamcast games? He was like, no, 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 no. But anyway, we, we carried on looking through, and then a few people disappeared. It was just me and you, and he went, mate, still want some Dreamcast games? <laughs> and that was it. You went round the back of the stall, and there was just boxes yeah. of these copied Dreamcast games. And then that was yeah. it. Then he kind of That's just true. saw, he, he almost like saw you coming, and he was like, yeah, yeah, come on, round here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, great prices right. as well, man. I really boosted oh, yeah. my Dreamcast collection. But yeah, that, that no. Mega Drive collection, it was basically every Mega Drive game, wasn't it? On like yeah. three wow. discs or something like that. It was stupid. Yeah. Including cool. uh, Shane Warren Cricket. <laughs> nice. Oh, Sonny's oh, friends. Sonny's fallen asleep, yeah. Uh, Sonny, wake up. My story wasn't, my story wasn't that. <laughs> yeah, he's sent him off to sleep. You still there, Sonny? Yeah, I'm still here. Hey, okay, he's back. You, you, you fell asleep for a second, yeah. Like, right. I think, you, I think, you, yeah, I think you passed out, yeah. <laughs> It's okay. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm here now. <laughs> I'm back. Okay, cool. He's uh, back. He's better than ever. Yeah. Better than ever. Cool. I'm back. <laughs> better than ever. Oh, he's gone again. Oh, he's gone again. Uh, he says he's back, and then he falls asleep. Back out. Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's going to lagging. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on here, but... Yeah. I think you're oh, right well. now. We'll persevere. Yeah, we'll, we'll persevere. Either. We'll get through it. We will. This, this week's pod's going to take some chopping and uh, chopping and changing, Finn. Yeah, it's cool. It's funny when you leave in. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <Right>. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty much it for what we're what we're playing. Mm. Cool. Um, and what we need to do now is so obviously this is like the biggest weekend in video games. Mm-hmm. This coming oh, weekend. Yeah. It started today with the Battlefield re- <laughs> reveal. Battle reveal. Reveal. Well, and then some E3 reveal, stuff, yeah. I think. And that will send these to our list that he's going to put on the screen in a minute. Aren't they, Sonny? All right. So it's the uh, the biggest weekend in gaming this coming weekend. Mm-hmm. Uh, started today with the announcement of, well, reveal, because uh, we knew it was coming. Uh, Battlefield 2042. Wow. Ooh. Coming out on Battlefields. everything later this year. So I'm guessing by the name, I didn't watch the reveal. Uh, I know there was like a trailer and that it, the fact that it's coming out. But um, yeah, the gameplay reveal is on Sunday for the uh, the Xbox conference. Oh, okay. Mm. I think I missed out on Battlefield 6 through 2041. So it's be good to catch up. I don't even know if there is a 6. Is there a 6? I'm joking. <laughs> <It's fine>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, it's V, Continue. isn't it? Yeah, sorry. That's me. That's my fault. No, I mean, yeah, sorry, it, Finn. The yeah. joke. I killed the joke. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's just a joke. Uh, killed the joke. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Whoosh. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely fucked it. Um... <laughs> Okay, oh, no, but yes, I missed the E3. Thing. Well, I mind. What are you going to do? I can do this. There, <laughs> there we go. Right. All right. E3. E3. <laughs> it's this week. There it is. Look, there's. So this is what's happening uh, this week. So th- things mm. start tomorrow with yes. uh, Summer Games Fest. That's Jeff yeah. Keighley's, uh like thing that he started last year. Because of obviously lack of E3 uh, conference in person, they decided to sort of do that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We have both. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Um, so they're sort of like merged into one now, I think, Phil, haven't they? Pretty much. Yeah. Mm. So Summer Games Fest, that's tomorrow. And then Friday, we've got Netflix Geeked Week. Not really sure what that mm. is. Yeah, I think it's part of Summer Games Fest as well, I think. Okay. And then we've got an IGN Expo. Cool. Okay. Not Saturday. Sure what, not sure what we're going to get from those because not really. I know there's going to be like Summer Games Fest has like Sony and Xbox stuff in it, but I don't think they're going to be like the main like 
main shows because of the Xbox you've got one later on Sunday. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Um, then Saturday we've got Gorilla Collective. Mm. I'm not sure what that is. Gorilla uh, developer. Let's see what they make. Um, well, Gorilla do um, Horizon, don't they? Um, oh, yeah. Killzone. Do. But I don't, I don't yeah. know if it's them. Um, let's have a look. Oh, Gorilla Collective is a digital games festival to reveal fresh announcements, trailers, gameplay, and more, bringing together some of the hottest developers and publishers around the world. Oh, right. Mm. Okay. Cool. Then we've got Wholesome I think, I think Direct. Indie. Yeah, I think it's mostly indie games. Right. Okay. Then we've got a, a Wholesome Direct, which is just going to be happy content, I assume. Good old cool. wholesome content. Again, I've no idea what that is. Finn, do you, you want to <laughs> have a look at what that is? Uh, yeah. Um, carry on. Wholesome Direct. Uh, it's an independent, volunteer-run showcase organised by Holton Games to spotlight uplifting and thoughtful indie games. There you go. Yeah. Then, nice. we've got U- then we've got Ubisoft Forward, uh, which, mm. you know, obviously they have every year, so um, I'm sure Just Dance will be there. And <laughs> um, I think, from what I read, The Division and its sort of free-to-play version that's coming out are skipping the uh, Ubisoft Forward presentation. Okay. Mm. Uh, so I imagine we're going to see the you know the skateboarding, snowboarding game that they've got coming out. Yeah. What was the best one? Uh, or Steep. Far Cry. Oh, yeah, Steep. Yeah, so it's like Steep, isn't it? But not Steep. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah, so we'll see probably a bit of that. I imagine we'll see uh, we'll see more Far Cry. Um, yeah, I think, I think Far Cry 6 would be the big one. It's going to be their biggest like, show piece. Yeah, I would, I would think so. They're, apparently they've got some surprises as well. Cool. Look forward to it. So then that's, Gearbox that's and Saturday. Devolver Digital round off Saturday. Cool. Uh, Sunday is a big one. Xbox and Bethesda are the uh, yes. are basically mm-hmm. going to be first on that day. Um, mm, this is a big one. This is a big one I think people are waiting for. Yeah, this we is going to be a big one. Nothing about, yeah, we still know nothing about what this partnership is and like what games are coming to Xbox and if it's going to be exclusive to Xbox or not. It's a lot of questions. Yeah, I mean, what do you expect to see? What are you thinking with this, Finn? Um, I, I, it's hard to say. Um, I want to see like Elder Scrolls Six, but I imagine that's like way too early in development, mm-hmm. just yet. So, yeah, I don't really know. I just want to know more about what this partnership is. Yeah, uh, I mean, you know, I think we're going to see a bunch more Bethesda games on Game Pass. A lot of mm. them are there already, but I think there'll be more. Yeah. Um, I think um, we might. I don't think we'll see Elder Scrolls. I think it's. Um, I think it's too soon for that. Yeah, they might mention it, but they won't actually show anything. It's, uh, yeah, they might mention games, it. But, yeah, I think one of the games that has Doom will just come out uh, with a new one. Uh, Evil Within, that'd be good. Evil Within Three, that'd be awesome. Could show Evil Within Three, yeah, and then the announcement that the second one's going straight onto Game Pass like that day. Yeah, that'd be cool. First one's on there, second one's not. Uh, maybe a new Wolfenstein? Yeah, maybe. I can see that. It's been a while since the last one. Mm. Um, do, do you think that these games are going to go straight onto Game Pass? Um, if it was going to be Xbox, Xbox exclusives? Yeah, if, by, if it is going to be exclusive and it's owned by Xbox now, then I would say yeah, probably. Which would be pretty cool. Yeah, um, the thing is, I was having this conversation with Denzel earlier on, um, and I'm, we were sort of talking whether some of these games would go to PS5, especially some of the bigger ones. Mm. Yeah. Um, and he was like, well, sure, you, you know, you spend $12 billion on a partnership, you know, do you then let the games go on to other platforms? But I guess it depends yeah. on how much revenue those games would bring in. Exactly. Yeah. I know people are worried that, like the bigger games, like Elder Scrolls, it's only going to be on Xbox and nothing else. And um, yeah, I think that's that's the, that's the biggest concern for people right now. I think, not knowing, are these games big enough to um, sell people the Xbox to make people go out and buy the Xbox? Um, I think so potentially, yeah. Because that's you know, if you're not a PC gamer, and the only way you can play. Um, the Elder Scrolls is to have an Xbox, then people, you know, I think that would be enough to twist, to twist people's arms into buying one. Hmm. Might be on the fence. Yeah, I mean, 
It's, 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 uh, it's, I mean, hopefully they'll reveal more as to what the partnership is so that we, mm. we all do have a better explanation. Because obviously at the minute, it's all guesswork, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. We don't know, but... you know what's exclusive, what isn't exclusive. Um, that's Starfield game. Is that what it's called, Starfield? Oh, uh, yeah. That's a big Bethesda one, isn't it? Yeah. Interesting. That as well. um, but yeah, I do imagine we'll get a lot more like Bethesda games on Game Pass. There'll be another announcement, like, yeah. That's a big deal, because Game Pass is a big yeah. deal right now. It is, it's Huge. a massive deal. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's, it's a difficult one. I mean, part of me, you know, I want games to be on everything. Mm. Yeah. But yeah. I understand <laughs> the, from a business standpoint why Microsoft would want to keep Bethesda games just on PlayStation. Oh, sorry, I'm just on Xbox. Yeah, yeah. To help shift more of those consoles and then help them sort of propel ahead of PlayStation. Exactly. So it's a really interesting one. So I, I expect we'll see, there'll, there'll be some sort of Bethesda new game reveal that will be sort of exclusive to Xbox, I think. Yeah, I think so. I think that's probably what they're going yeah. for. Otherwise, why have a joint showcase? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's good point, good point. Uh, we'll see Halo again. Yeah, um, yep, for sure. Uh, which obviously is still due to come this year, I believe. I think so. Yeah, that they delayed announced it's going to be delayed. Hopefully not. And they need they need a good trailer after last, after the last one. It Definitely just, yeah. it didn't um, win people over very well. It didn't, and it was mocked a little bit as well. So I mean, yeah, to, to be honest, I wasn't overly impressed with it either. So it was you know um, a case of okay, they need to go back to the drawing board, and they did. They delayed it. And now uh, let's see what they've got now. Yeah. A few months out from release. Um, Forza, Motorsport, and Horizon, I'm expecting to see. Yeah, probably. Forza yeah. Horizon's probably going to come out this year, isn't it? It's been a while. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I think um, Horizon 5 will come out this year, but I think um, Forza Motorsport will come out next year. Yeah, I don't that think that's... Yeah, I, there's no point in bringing two Forza games out in a year. No, exactly. Not at all. So you might as well just... Might as well bring... Horizon 5 out and then bring Motorsport out next year. Yeah, that makes sense to me. But with regards to anything else, I just don't know. I mean, I'm expecting a bunch of games coming to Game Pass, maybe like, you know, it's going to be stuff like, and right now it's available on Game Pass, but I'm not, I really don't know. I, I'm not 100% sure. Psychonauts 2, probably, I think we're oh, probably going to yeah. see more of that. Yeah, that, oh yeah, it's an Xbox thing, I think, yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah, because you can download the original one on from Game Pass at the minute. Yeah. Cool. Um, but otherwise, I'm not 100% sure. There's quite a lot. Uh, I mean, obviously, they're going to show Battlefield, but otherwise, I'm, I'm really not sure. Yeah, it's a lot of, a lot of potential. Yeah. Um, Square Enix, they're on Sunday as well. Yeah, look forward to this one. Um, yeah. Final Fantasy 16, please. <laughs> sure Final Fantasy... That. Yeah, I mean, they'll show that, right? Yeah, they've got to. The, the trailer looks, the last trailer I showed looks like the game was pretty far on. So I'm hoping, I don't know if it will come true or not, but probably not. But I'm hoping it will be this year. Like like holiday season this year would be nice. But that might yeah. be wishful thinking. <laughs> I'm going to try, cause, um, e, Square Enix did put up what's going to be at E3. Um, oh, I haven't seen that. Let me have a look here. There's also that rumoured um, Dark Souls like Final Fantasy game, Final Fantasy Origin. Ooh. Yeah, so I mean, I'm looking here. Final Fantasy, yeah, Final Fantasy 16, Dragon Quest 12, The Flames oh, of Fate, nice. Uh, the new Life is Strange game, Life is Strange: True Colors, which is breaking away from its episodic normal, normal like sort of routine and going for a full game. Cool. Um, Final Fantasy Origin. Yes. Is that the Dark Souls <laughs> game you talked about? Yeah, oh. yeah. Okay. Uh, Babylon's Fall. Sure. <laughs> which is apparently the mysterious next game from Platinum Games. Oh, okay. Platinum Games. Now you have uh, my attention. For Spoken, action game Spoken. being developed by uh, Luminous Productions, uh, which is Square Enix Studio, narrative-driven adventure, and nice. uh, they're going to show some more stuff for uh, the Avengers. Um, mm. Final Fantasy VII Remake Part Two, which I don't think we'll see anything of. Really? It's, it's a mention it on the official Square Enix, Enix thing? No, I'm just on. I'm oh. on PC Gamer on the website. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. 
So yeah, that's, 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 that, that's what that's what Square Enix uh, are going to do, and they're on Sunday as well. So that's 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 one to look forward to for sure. Yeah, for sure, that'd be awesome. Yeah, man, definitely. What else we got? Then we got a PC gaming show that no one cares about on Sunday. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know what they show there that won't be showed everywhere else. It's weird. Yeah, um, future games show. I'm assuming that's exactly what it means. They're yeah, going to be showing same. future games. <laughs> it's games coming soon. Um, and then we've got Warner Brothers um, on Sunday as mm. well. So I'm assuming they're going to show the two Batman games that are coming, the Suicide Squad one and um, Gotham Knights. Yeah, yeah that'd be cool. Been and I yeah, would imagine the upcoming Harry Potter RPG as well. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that, 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 that's what I saw earlier when I was having a quick look at mm. some rumours and whatnot. And uh, yeah, those, those four that you mentioned there were the four that I saw for the yeah. Warner Brothers yeah. one. You're yeah, all Wizard Harry. Yeah, um, Take Two, Capcom, Mythical Games, Freedom Games, and Razor. They're on Monday. Nice. Capcom. We can see some more Resident Evil stuff from Capcom. Yeah, uh, they've confirmed that it's going to be there. So, um, Rich put in the Discord maybe something about DLC being announced for it. That would make sense. Yeah, I'll get around to that next winter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with the winter after. Yeah, winter yeah. twenty three. <laughs> Winter, yeah, winter twenty three. Uh, Tuesday is a big one. Um, the big one, the biggest one on um, Tuesday is Nintendo. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Um, what are we expecting from Nintendo? Are they finally going to give us Breath of the Wild two? Um, I think they announced the Switch Pro finally. You that's think they rumored, will? Yeah, that's been rumored for like mm. two years now. Uh, but I think they'll finally show that off and maybe get some more uh, Breath of the Wild two footage from the Switch Pro, perhaps. Mm-hmm. And I'm hoping for Metroid, but I won't get it. I can I continue to hope that one day they will release Metroid Prime 4. Whether they will or not, I don't know. Um, also, Bayonetta 3, maybe? That wasn't yeah, that's, that, I feel that's long overdue. Yeah, long, long overdue. Yeah. Um, I mean, there'll be some sort of Mario game. Yeah. yeah. Mario Kart 8 DLC. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's weird. Nintendo is so unpredictable. Yeah. So it's very difficult to sort of know what they're going to be doing. Yeah. But I do really think we'll get a Switch Pro announcement. I don't know what they'll call it. Do that be the big thing? I think so. Um, Switch has been out a long time now. I think Nintendo will do for the next thing. Because look at the 3DS and how many of those we have. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> a 3DS, new 3DS, 3DS XL, 2DS. Yeah. I think yeah. it's about time we have a new Switch. Yeah, I think that's I think um, that's probably about right. Yeah. Mm. Um. Yeah, it's um. Again, it's just so because Nintendo are so unpredictable. I mean, Zelda, you got to you, people are going to be expecting if they don't get it, they're going to be pissed. Um, <laughs> yep. I imagine there'll be some sort of Smash Brothers announcement, another oh, like, yeah. fighter. Yeah, definitely. Rumored to be Crash Bandicoot, probably won't be. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I've not really seen much of anything. Yeah. With, with, with the way I kind of like it, to be honest, it's more of a surprise. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Um, but it's, it's going to be an exciting weekend. I mean, there is stuff on uh, Wednesday as well. Um, uh, but that's, it's, it's just a Steam, just a Steam thing. And they got Bandai Namco and um, a few other bits on Tuesday as well. But the, the real meat, you know, over the weekend comes in the form of probably Ubisoft, Microsoft, and Nintendo. No Sony at E3 again this year. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, I, I think they will. I think they'll do their own um, state of play for what's coming, what's upcoming. Yeah. Maybe like the week Definitely. after E3 or something like that, or a couple of weeks after. But they'll do something. They won't, uh, they won't vanish into obscurity. <laughs> no. Do they ever? <laughs> no. No, they do not. Right. Um, so, yeah, that's E3. I mean, we do, you know, we, we the, there's just so much that we don't know about this year's E3. You know, that everyone's sort of guessing and no one has a clue what's going to happen at uh, Xbox and Bethesda. No one really has a clue what's going to happen at Nintendo. It's all just guesswork. <laughs> exactly, yeah. It's, uh... Yeah. Yeah, we'll we'll have a lot more to talk about next week, won't we? Because we'll know. Oh, we'll for know sure. We'll, we'll know everything then. At the minute, it's just like rumors, predictions, and all of that sort of stuff. And it, it's quite difficult, isn't it, really? It's like, yeah. oh, they could do this, they could do that. So yeah. next week, next week, we'll uh, have a full rundown, won't we? 
Oh, scale, definitely, yeah. We'll have a lot to talk about next week. We're going to have to block out about three hours. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. So, um, Finn, have you got any more gaming news that you want to uh, tell us about? Uh, I think that's about it, really. All the free stuff. Cool. Right, so we're going to try something new. Cool. Now, we asked the guys in our Discord, and I mentioned it to these guys last week after we were finished recording the podcast, that we wanted to do like a Games and Graps island, like a Desert Island Discs type thing, where you go to a desert island, this is our island, so we make the rules, okay? So it's Games and Graps Island. The rules are that we do have Wi-Fi, but only for online multiplayer. Mm-hmm. Not to download from a digital store, because otherwise you could have every game. <laughs> exactly. um, so the the games console itself is the Games and Graps Penetrator three thousand, nice. and it has room for <laughs> it will read it will read any disc and any cartridge, and you can take awesome. five games, and um, from any console generation, but they're the only five games that you are ever going to be allowed. Okay. So, um, I do have the guys from Discord, but Steve, I'm going to start with you. But check this out. (laughs) (laughs) It's this game from Graps Island. We can't see. We we can't see for the trees. I like it. Drowned. (laughs) Steve's going to need to boost his seat up a little bit. (laughs) (laughs) I can't boost my seat up. You can't boost your seat up? (laughs) No. All right, we'll take it off while you do it then. So, um, okay. yeah, Steve, Steve, we'll start with you. What are your... So, obviously, five games. You know, these are compl- this is what you would be happy playing on a desert island. Okay. So, first off, I'm going to start with a bit of a nostalgia trip. And it's, it's what I probably consider my favourite game of all time. Now, you know, whatever. Take that as you okay. will. There's, I, I, I get that there is a lot of playstation 4 exclusives that i've never played which you know some people will say is far better but whatever so yeah. the first game i would take is metal gear solid for the playstation one all nice. right good choice it's a great choice um, it's just a game that i think at the time I- i'd gone from having a mega drive and playing these great games sonic and streets of rage and all of that and you know like fifa 96 and, <laughs> and all of that yeah. and then my tiny little 13 year old brain then played metal gear solid on the playstation one i was like wow what is this <laughs> and it just it just blew my mind um and it's a game that i've just i've played through quite a few times um to the point where i'm, I'm tempted to get a playstation one and just buy it just because i want to play it again mm-hmm. even now yeah. um so yeah, a, a fantastic game, great game series, um, but Metal Gear Solid one for the for the PlayStation one. All right, good choice. Um, my second game, it would be remiss of me to not have. That's the one. Mm-hmm. It would be remiss of me not to have a football game mm-hmm. because that's my bag, uh, of course. So I, lo- I had a lot of thought about this, but and I, and I mentioned the game earlier, but for me. It would have to be purely uh, from a nostalgia point and thing, and just because it was great, uh, uh, and, and I imagine it is still great now to play. Probably doesn't look fantastic, but Pro Evolution Soccer Two mm. um, from the PS One for, uh, for the PlayStation Two. Oh, um, okay, yeah. So, uh, yeah, great game, fantastic football game. Just hours and hours playing, playing Master League, and, and doing all the various different things on that, and. Yeah, a, a great game. Look, there's, there's been some there's been some fantastic FIFA games over the last few years, but they've kind of all merged into one, and it's hard to mm. separate. I, th- I think ten FIFA ten springs to mind as a game that was great, uh, but again, I might be wrong on that. I might be thinking of nine. Who knows? Because they all sort of merge. But yeah, in terms of like Pro Evo, for me, Pro Evo two really does stick out. I think you'd be surprised at how good that game still looks as well. It probably, yeah, yeah. I was having a look at some uh, sort of like screenshots earlier and, and whatnot on, on, on Google, and uh, yeah, still, still great. Uh, so that's my second game. My third game, in terms of a game that I could play forever, that would constantly update, you know, new content and, and all of that sort of thing, if that's allowed, um, yep. would be Forza Horizon 4. Yep. Okay. Um, nice. Just because I could just sit there all day and play it. And I think I'd be happy playing it forever and ever. Um, my fourth game, 
because I'm on an island and because I can play online multiplayer and because I have so much fun with it, and I know it's a real recent one and it's not the greatest online, online multiplayer game ever. I'm not going to pretend it is. Uh, but I'm actually going to go for Sea of Thieves. Oh, nice. nice. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. It's an amazing game, and I'm on an island. You know, it might inspire me to go out, make a little boat. You know, go out there, <laughs> do a bit of fishing. Go. You know, yeah. go and find Perfect. some treasure, shoot some pirates. Who knows? But no, <laughs> I, I would absolutely play that because if, if I'm on a desert island on my own, I still want to have contact with my friends. Mm. Or, or, well, well, you and and you're my friend. Don't know about Darren, um, but um, <laughs> you know the three, <laughs> the three of us would obviously, you know. We jump on Finn as well. You know, we need to get you. You need to get you in, into this. So yeah, I, I would absolutely. I would play play that Sea of Thieves. Um, and my final choice, just purely because the game just keep they keep adding and adding and adding to the game, and I feel like we will be playing this game forever. Is Grand Theft Auto Five? Oh yeah, yeah, good choice. Yeah, very good choice. Just because it will not get boring. You, could, I mean, even if you wanted to go back through the story, you, you've got different endings that you can do. Um, and they keep adding all this stuff online that I haven't even touched. So if I was stuck on an island, I've got plenty of time. I could go through all of that and do all that cool stuff that they, they keep adding. So that game will be around forever. It'll still be selling 20 million copies in, in 10 years' time. So Probably, yeah. Um, yeah, those are my five games. There's there's, there's two or three that I ummed and ahmed with. I I, I thought about having uh, taken Animal Crossing New Horizons mm-hmm. with me just because yeah. it's a game that you can just seem to play forever. And again, mm-hmm. it updates periodically throughout the year. Um, Gran Turismo 2 was almost my driving game. Um, oh. Again, it was just that huge leap from Mega Drive to PlayStation one yeah. position two whatever it was just in not in a game that i played for hours and then a kind of a more recent one was was spider-man just because it has that sort of do you know what i could just turn it on and swing around new york and stop mm. and have fights you know or whatever yeah um, of course but um that's when i then thought about gta 5 and i thought oh, i'd actually know i'll get more mileage out of that so they are my five games excellent i think they're very good choices yeah we do good yeah, I think they're really good choices. Nice. Um, oh, you know what? I haven't, you know what? We haven't done. Marty told me to download it. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, that's loud. Hold on. Let me turn that down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna go for a swim now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Finn, before we move on to you, uh, let's uh, read a couple of the guys <laughs> from Discord's five games. So, um, yeah, if you're not in our Discord, come and join our Discord. You're missing out. It's good fun. Um, these are Squinny's five games that he would take on Get to Games and Graps Island. Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Nice. Cool. Uh, Super Mario Land 2, the six golden coins from the Game Boy. Oh, oh game, nice. I guess. Yeah. Very Mario game. Uh, GTA Vice City. Cool. Okay. Uh, Uncharted. Like, this is a bit of a sneaky board there, and you can get. Two games on disc. Oh, fine. Oh, Go a bit muffled. Yeah, I can't hear you. Uh, Uncharted: The Nathan Drake Collection. Ah, okay. okay, that makes sense. Three games of one. Sneaky. Yeah, I like it. Sneaky, very sneaky. And Theme Park World for the PC. Oh, oh nice. cool. Yeah. yeah, that's a game you can play forever. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, we'll go for we'll go for another one as well. This is Rich. Um, he's gone for The Legend of Zelda: The Ocarina of Time from the N64. Good nice. choice. Uh, championship manager 0102. Oh, what did I put football manager in? <laughs> uh, Hunter, oh. Call of the Wild. Nice. Destiny 2 and Dead by Daylight. So good choices there as well. Cool. Which championship Very. manager game was that, Sonny? Uh, 0102. Yeah, amazing. Amazing game. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that, that's, uh, that's Squinny and Rich from our Discord. We'll read some more out after. Finn, what are your... Uh, five games that you would take to games on Graps Island. Cool. Well, let me tell you. I'll turn the volume down a bit more. There we go. Right. My games. The first game I've gone for, I went on a very similar uh, vein to Steve as in games I could play forever. I seem to be having this same connection. Uh, I've gone for Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn. So I'm finally, now I'm on Desert Island, I finally have time to actually play it and sit down. <laughs> 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 I mean, there were the distractions. Um, 
yeah, um, it's been said that, you know, this is the best story in any Final Fantasy game, not just in MMO uh, games. And I really, really want to play it. There's three expansions out right now. Uh, there's one more coming out later this year. And uh, yeah, I just want to play it and just need more free time. And now it's a perfect opportunity because I'm stranded on a desert island. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that one. Second one was Smith Nostalgia. Went for the Mega Drive collection on other PS2 or PS4. Uh, okay, so that's smart, you see. Multiple games. Smart choice. Yeah. Yeah, but bit classic games for a bit of nostalgia. I'd like to fancy some like, Street of Rage or something. Hop on, give that a play. Um, now we've got four, then four uh, Beat Saber, which nice. is my favourite VR game. Oh, cool. And yeah, also we'll keep you fit because you've got to move around a lot. And uh, yeah, keep you healthy, keep you fit. Another game, and you get a bunch of DLC and stuff with it as well. Yeah. Mm. Awesome. Uh, next game went for Skyrim, a single okay. player. Uh, game, but a game again which you can play forever with different classes, different, you know, on different quests. The game is huge and you can play it in so many different ways, you will never get bored of it. Different mods as well. Different mods, yeah, so many different mods. We'll play forever. And, I mean, so, at the same as Steve, I went for GTA 5 for the same reason. <laughs> <laughs> it was never yep. in. Just play forever. Ne yep. Never a GTA 6 coming out, so <coughs> no, GTA 5 no is <laughs> forever. Yeah, and this is a really, really fun game. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, it's, it's really good. Still, absolutely amazing game. Yeah. Good choices. Thank you. Yeah, cool choices. Excellent choices. Uh, right, back to the Discord, guys. So this is Craig from Pure Dead Gaming. You can go check their podcast out. Uh, he's gone for PES 2021. I know he plays nice. on PC, so he's got like a modded version of it. Oh, um, nice. Ghost of Tsushima from PS4. Good choice. Cool. Uh, he's also gone for Grand Theft Auto 5, probably for the same reasons <laughs> that you guys have. <laughs> good choice. Uh, Football Manager 2021. Oh, nice. And okay. the Nathan Drake collection again from PS4. Cool. Smart. All right. Bearded Buffoon has gone for Forza Horizon 4. Nice. Cool. NHL 21. This is a cool one. Diablo 3. Oh, oh okay. Very nice. Mm, cool. Horizon Zero Dawn and Guitar Hero 3. Guitar ah, Hero, yes. Guitar Hero, about... nice. Yeah, I yeah. thought I'd really a band of mine, but I couldn't decide. Yeah, man. So, uh, yeah, more good choices. And then we'll read the, like, the last couple after I've run through mine. So, um, okay. So, I've, I've tried to get a bit of everything in here that I enjoy. Cool. Um, so, first one I've gone for is Forza Horizon 4. Yeah. Good choice. I feel like there's enough in there to keep me to, to keep me going. It's forever changing and evolving. And there'll always be stuff to do on it. And it's just a great game. Mm. Oh, yeah. Um, I too have gone for PES 21, but that's because I'm, I'd, I'd need a football game of some description, and PES is basically my favourite football game. So I would just take the latest version and just play the hell out of that, basically. Mm. Cool. Um, I needed a wrestling game, and it was really hard to pick one. Um, so I went for SmackDown Here Comes the Pain nice. from the okay. PS2, which, in my opinion, is probably one of the best wrestling games ever made. Uh, yep, I do with that. Yeah, uh, rock band. Cool, good choice. Um, because you know you gotta have music. You need some music in your life. Yeah, and rock band, rock band fills band. that void. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna, I was gonna put rock band two on there. I, for some reason, I remember rock band two being my favourite one. Oh, that is the one I've put actually. Sorry. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, rock band two. Yeah, this just because got it is the best one. Yeah. Um and. Just like you guys, I too have gone for Grand Theft Auto 5 for the same reason. <laughs> nice. It's never going away and there's always <laughs> stuff to do on it. And yeah, man, Grand Theft Auto 5 yeah. is just... <laughs> Grand Theft Auto 5 is forever. Yeah, I think just talking about it now makes me want to go play it. Yeah, me yeah, too. Same. <laughs> like, like, we, I, like, I'm not... I said that I'm not, not going to buy it, but we know I'm all... Everyone knows we're, I'm gonna, we're all going to buy GTA 5 and PS5 or Xbox. Probably, X. yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I already know yeah. I am. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Um, Take the FPS. Yeah. <laughs> um, right, and uh, so let's go back to the Discord. So that's the, that's our three five picks, which are good picks, I think. Everyone's yeah, gone for a, yeah. something a bit different, and everyone's gone for GTA Five. So at least we'll be able to play that together. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this, this, this is Chris. He's gone for Red Dead Redemption Two. Nice. Nice. Uh, the Last of Us and The Last of Us Part Two. Shocking. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, WWF No Mercy from the N64. Oh, cool. Good choice. And Metal Gear Solid 5. Oh, oh. weird one. Okay. That's yeah. 
Good game. Um, yeah, that is an interesting one. I I toyed with the idea of Metal Gear Solid One, like you, Steve, because it's one of my mm. favorite games ever. So, yeah, um, yeah. Um, and then Denzel has gone for Resident Evil One. Ooh, no, he loves that game. Doesn't he? he does love that game. Yeah, um, GTA Vice City. Nice. Pez Five. Now I can't I'm not can't remember which one that is. Uh, I think it's on the blue cover with Henri on it. Yes, that rings a bell. Yeah. Um, Shemu. Cool. And Need for Speed Underground 2. Oh, interesting. Okay. So he's gone right out there. He's gone. Thierry, he's gone. Thierry Henry and John Terry. Ah, right. Okay. Blue cover? They're greenish. Greenish. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's just gone for the, the, I think, the weirdest mix of games. <laughs> it is a bit. But then we all have our own, you know, tastes and video games. Well, that's it. Work. Yeah, that is that is it. But, um,. Yeah, that, that's Games and Graps Island. That's the first edition we've done of that. And I, I, I liked um, that every everybody got involved in my Discord. Uh, yeah, so thank good. you guys for that. Um, obviously, we'll do we'll do future Games and Graps Island, especially now we've got the awesome overlay. <laughs> yeah. mm. I do have one with a smaller beach and the game, and Games and Graps Island written like across the two palm trees at the top. Maybe mm. I'll use that one next time. Beach. I went for a nice swim. It was nice. Excellent, yeah. yeah. Good times. Yeah. Um, right, yeah, so that was Games and Graps Island. Good times. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Yeah, yeah it was cool. I like that. I like yeah, that. Excellent. And shout out to the guys in our Discord. We have a really good crop of guys in our Discord. We always we talk basically every day, and um, it's always always a good time, never a dull moment. Um, yeah, if you're not in our Discord, join our Discord. It's awesome. Join us. Join us. Whatever. Right. Whatever. Let's press on, as the evening is uh, is getting a little bit late. Indeed. Indeed it is. But um, I think I am 4-0 up at this point. You, are. So you, I know, can you're actually... you, you <laughs> know you're 4-0 up. Yeah. I, no I, can... oh, I think I'm 4-0 up. You know you're 4-0 <laughs> up. I'm uh, and this week... your ass. Hmm. Yeah, this I, week, Sonny's going to finish it. It's, it's going to yeah, whitewash, embarrass me. <laughs> but guess what? Or whatever. I don't care. <laughs> Look, we'll see, okay. we'll see. I don't care. There's still, <laughs> look, there's still everything to play for. Nah, there's fuck all to play for. Sorry, right, sorry, okay. Greg. <laughs> sorry, right. sorry for swearing, Greg. Um, yeah. Yeah. There's, there's nothing to play for. It's a dead rubber. But you know, man, he's gone. Man, he's <laughs> he, 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 I know he, he wanted. To, he, I know he didn't want to lose. <laughs> he rage quit. No, before he even started. <laughs> so he's rage quit before we even got to it. <laughs> How random. This episode has been plagued with technical issues. It really has. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it edited out, but suddenly disappeared earlier and we had to start. Yeah. Uh, my internet time. just oh. uh, just went completely mental and died. And. Oh, um, coming back. <laughs> and Steve's back. He's back. He's back. Yeah, 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 he's he's back. back. And just, it just <laughs> randomly closed. You know, like when an app just doesn't want to work anymore, it just goes zoop yeah. and just closes. Oh, yeah. it, did that. it did that. Brilliant. Yeah, we were just talking about the technical issues that we've been having during the course of this oh. podcast so far. We thought you'd yeah. rage quit. Yeah, rage <laughs> yeah. quit. That's rage really quit before I've even lost. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I've enjoyed. Look, look I've, in, I've enjoyed the eleven eight. I, I like being host. Clearly, that's my uh, that's that's me. I'm I'm gonna you know that's where my expertise lie. Finn, you've been a great host. Um, Thank you, Sunny. Sunny, you were good as well. But Thank clearly. You my expertise aren't in wrestling and gaming. So it makes sense for me to be on a gaming and wrestling podcast, obviously. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, look, I've, had, I've learned a hell of a lot from the Eliminator. So mm. look, let's do this. Let's do this. Cool. Let's, let's do indeed. this. I am falling up and it could be time to put this to bed. It's this week's edition of the Eliminator. Yes, indeed. Been the guest of steel back once again. Uh, Hardest fucking intro in the world. <laughs> in the world. Ooh. Right. Your pens and paper ready? I liked that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, I have. I liked that uh, when we when you played the games and Graps Island music, it sort of blended in with whoever's got birds chirping. It's oh, me because yeah. I've got the back door open. Do you want me to shut, you want me to shut the back door? Well, nah, is, it like a Disney, is it like a Disney movie outside like where you are? <laughs> la, 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 yeah. la, la, la. And then like the... No, it's because my neighbours either side have more bird feeders than they do flowers. No. So it's just <laughs> ridiculous. I'm the birds just flying in, landing on Steve's shoulder. Yeah, I'm answering the questions like for movie. you. 
Not yeah. Pat Sparrow. He probably knows more. <laughs> Just bird flies in on his show. He's like, I think it's John Cena. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's original music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, All right. right. Ready? Cool. Yeah. Let's go for it. All right. Let's do it. Let's go. Question number one. All right. Let's go for this one. What year did the New Day debut as a tag team? Was it 2012, 2013, 2014, or 2015? 12, 13, 14, 15. Right, buddy? Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, Sunny? Uh, I went for 2015. Okay, Steve? I went for 2014. Hmm, interesting. Well, I'm going to tell you, the correct answer is 2014. Steve Ooh. gets a point, or keeps his life, and suddenly loses his life. I cannot believe how long they've been going now. God, it's, it's mad. insane, isn't it? Isn't it? Seven years. <laughs> nuts. Mental. Insane. Absolutely nuts. That is insane. It really is. Cool. Steve is in the lead. He's pulling it back. It's going to be the start of Told you, it's all to play for. <laughs> it is indeed. You, you came in expecting to lose. All right. Next question. Here we go. Which of these is not the name of a Mario Kart game? Is that right? Is it Mario Kart Super Circuit, Mario Kart Double Dash, Mario Kart Triple Deluxe, or Mario Kart DS? Which of those is not in the name of a Mario Kart game? Red Bullock, the going artist? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Sonny? Uh, I went for Triple Deluxe. Okay. Sounds Steve? like a burger. I went for B, Double Dash. Ah. Well, I'll tell you that the correct answer in tying it up is Triple Deluxe. <laughs> Double Dash was the GameCube game. It was. That's very good. Triple Deluxe, I made up. It definitely <laughs> sounds like a burger. It does. It does. Yeah, I'll no, take the uh, triple deluxe and a super size <laughs> fries and a heart attack milkshake, please. <laughs> heart attack milkshake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. All right. I have to be honest, another. That's not the kind of shit that I would eat. Yeah. yeah. Same. <laughs> that's fair. Um, cool. So I have some more music for you. Another Ooh. entrance theme. Not quite as yes. generic as the last ones. But here we go. Whose NXT theme is this? <laughs> oh. oh yeah! Might be slightly more obvious than you Let's have a look at the answer. So I'm all the way down. Uh, is it A, John Cena? <laughs> is it B, Seth Rollins? Is it C, Dean Ambrose? Or is it D, Roman Reigns? I really like John Cena's time in NXT. Oh, he was, he was class. <laughs> prototype. That's the prototype, yeah. All right. This one might be a little more obvious than the last one. Sonny? Seth Rollins. Steve? Do you know what? Before, if, if, if it was an open-ended, I'd have gone Seth Rollins. So I'll yeah, I wrote, I wrote Seth Rollins before. Yeah, Rollins I was thinking it. I, I, I yeah. was thinking it as well. <laughs> but you were both correct, obviously. <laughs> You're both wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, That's a Johnsy. fucking banger, man. They should uh, awesome. give him that now. Yeah, really should. Uh, yeah, Seth Rollins. Cool music. Yeah, John Cena's cool. been in every single one. Yeah, I know, that's kind of a winning joke. <laughs> um, right. I have some pictures for you. It's a bit awkward Ooh, for the guys. Picture round. Picture yeah. round? I think I'm better to describe them. All right, here we go. I have some box art to show you. You have to tell me what games these box arts are from. Oh, First one, keeping it easy, is this one. Keeping it easy. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, a dark background with a disembodied hand pointing upwards. Alright. Is it A, Dead Rising? Is it B, Dead Space? Is it C, Left 4 Dead? Or is it D, Dead Island? Has the game got the title Dead in it? 
It does indeed. <laughs> what, a fucking, what a game this is, by the way. Great game. Good to see. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm guessing. Dead, dead Rising, Dead Space, Dead for Dead, 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 Dead. <laughs> this one of this. Yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. <laughs> okay. Sonny? Dead Space. Okay, Steve? Uh, A, I went for. Okay. Well, the correct answer. <laughs> the correct answer is Dead Space. Of course, head of a game. I have it right here. Dead yep. Space. Great game. That was A, right? Yes. Um, that was, you know what, I can't remember. I think it's B. Um, yeah, it's B. That A was Dead Rising. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, yes, Dead Space, head of a game. It's Great game. in the lead with four points to three. Okay, I've got another picture for you. Let me start the music. Next question. Da, 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 da. All right, next picture. Here it is. It's PS3 and Xbox. Is a shadowy man holding a gun. The blue, bluish and whitish aesthetic with sort of like faces in the shadow. And it is a espionage RPG. It says there. Oh, it's the, the espionage RPG according the, to that. Yeah, the espionage, <laughs> the only one to ever exist. Uh, is it A, Alpha Protocol? Is it B, Binary Domain? Is it C, Vanquish? Is it D, Deus Ex? Read them again for me, sorry. The answers. Uh, Alpha Protocol, Binary Domain, Vanquish, and Deus Ex. Ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready, yeah. Okay. Tony? Uh, alpha Protocol I went for. Okay. Steve? I went for Alpha Protocol as well. Oh, I can tell you. Yeah. You are both the Maldives. Can't quit all the speed of The correct answer is Alpha Protocol. Oh, both cool. Keep alive. Nice. The and espionage the, RPG. The. Yeah, it was. It was. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, was cool. it the espionage RPG? It's one of them. Mm. <laughs> it was a espionage RPG, at least. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, one more box art. Here we go. It is. It is a uh, man and a woman. <laughs> man has a spiky, <laughs> spiky haircut. Uh, the woman has red hair in a ponytail, with the hair up in a bun kind of thing. And there was a large mechanical robot chasing after them. It's all kind of greenish. So is this A, Dragon's Dogma? Is it B, Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning? Is it C, Enslaved Odyssey to the West? Or is it D, Anarchy Reigns? All from the same sort of era. Dude, Anarchy Reigns fucking sucks. Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't great. Remember virtually nothing about it other than I have it. <laughs> it's on my shelf. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you both ready? Yep. Yep. Cool, Sunny. I went for enslaved. Okay, Steve. Total guess. I went for enslaved as well. Is it like they cool. were running away because they're maybe slaves. I don't know. <laughs> well, that is a good guess because you are both once again correct. Oh, shit. Enslaved. Well, to the west. Decent game. Oh man! Seven out of ten. What was that about? Um, it's about being a slave. Okay, good. Um, yeah, I don't really remember. It's, 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 okay, <laughs> game. it's a cool game. But yeah, I think you're just trying to escape from yeah robots and stuff. Right. Yeah. Okay. Good Decent. description. Good to be description. fair, that's probably a better description than some of the descriptions that the creators of these games give the games. Yeah. Um, Play as Monkey, a strong, brutish loner who must work with a tech-savvy partner Trip as they traverse a rough post-apocalyptic landscape and survive a perilous journey home. Right, oh, good. <laughs> uh, cool, that's that. So it's still 4-3 uh, up to Sunny. Yep. All righty then. What else have we got here? Okay, what's the sound effects for you to play? Hmm. You have to tell me which, which Zelda game are these sound effects from. Oh, wow. <laughs> First one. Splish. <laughs> I love it. Second one. Kaboom! <laughs> so we've got, we've got Sploosh and Kaboom. Kaboom! 
Maybe. Sploosh. And sploosh. Uh, so is that from um, Wind Waker, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, or Skyward Sword? Oh, fuck it. It's uh, from a mini game. It's a... Uh, A battleship esque mini game. <sighs> but it's basically a battleship. Alright, but buddy? Yep. Yep. Okay, what have you gone for, Sonny? Total guess, I've gone for Wind Waker. Okay, Steve? Whatever D was. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, what your fluke, Sonny, is correct. It is Wind Waker. It is uh, battleships, basically. Not and when you, when you, and when you miss, miss a shot, you hear. Splish! Yes. Yeah, <laughs> it's very funny. Um, cool. So that is four two to Sunny. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, okay, next question. The end is nigh. <laughs> so in SummerSlam 2010, it was Team WWE versus Team Nexus. WWE's team was John Cena, John Morrison, R Truth, Bret Hart, Chris Jericho, Daniel Bryan, and which? Other wrestler or superstar uh, was it Edge, Christian, Big Zo Big Show, or Zack Ryder? Edge, Christian, Big Show, Zack Ryder. Twenty ten. Those are the Nexus. When the what year was that? Twenty ten. Uh, Two thousand and ten. Yes. Edge, Christian, Big Show, or Zack Ryder. Woo woo woo. Turned upon GCW it. this past weekend. Yes, it did. did. Yeah. Sort of. <sighs> okay. Wait, Tony. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Tony. Um, I went for Big Show. Okay, Steve. Uh, I went for on this day Edge. Yeah. I tell you, tying it up is Steve. The great oh, answer. Shit. Is Edge hardest day? Cool. What else have we got? That was a pure guess. Right, so uh, I've got three lives. Steve's got two. Is that right? That's correct. Uh, yes, that is correct. I'm running out of questions. Okay, so this will be a life eater. <laughs> Let's okay. go for the next question. So this one is going to be closest to the correct answer. Uh, keeps their life. Okay, so Final Fantasy. It is a series with 15 main entries, with the 16th on the way. There are also a lot, a lot of uh, spin offs, including side games, remakes, rhythm games, etc. etc. Uh, you have to tell me how many games total are there with the words Final Fantasy in the title? As a hint, it is more than 50. Thanks. Yeah. Final Fantasy. I'm going to be way off. Oh, I don't know. No, it's going to be more than that, isn't it? <laughs> more than 50. 50 already sounds like a lot, but it's more than that. I didn't even think it was going to be that many, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, so say that again. Wait, it's, it's more than 50? Yeah, over 50, yes. Shit. Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad I heard that because my answer is <laughs> way below that. More ah. than fifty. Okay. Yes. Um, I'm just going to. I'm just, I'm just going to put this number for a laugh. There we go. Cool. Yeah, the first one came out in 1987, and then there were like side games and spin-offs and all these other things. Cool. Ever since then. Cool. All right, Sonny, what have you got? I've gone for 56. Okay. Steve. 69! Whoa! Hey. <laughs> well, the correct answer, you're both very low, the correct answer is 90. 9 Fuck zero. Off. Yes! Yeah. There are a lot. There's a, the, there's the Game Boy series called Biomantic Legend that was going alongside the original. Not, how many um, did you say? 90? 90. 90. 90. 90. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and there's the rhythm games, and then there's like sequels. You play them all, um, any more? Have you played? Any have more? you played them all? <laughs> uh, oh, I played them all. Um, not quite. <laughs> <laughs> not quite, unfortunately. Uh, right, that ties it up, right? Was it yep. three two? Yeah, yeah, two two. Uh, yes, two, two, two two. Two two, yes. Two two. Mm. Desmond. 
I don't need to find the more questions. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. I don't have a name, you've got to combine it. Um, you guys like football, right? Yep. A little bit. Well, it might surprise you to learn that I, Vince Steele, avid football disliker, <laughs> has a, owns a single FIFA game. Which FIFA game is it? Is it 2004 for the PS2? Is it FIFA 10 for the 360? Is it 95 for the Mega Drive? Or is it 19 for the PS4? I'll be right back. I'll go get it. It's a great question. It's a good question. Hell of a question. Alright. Wait, wait, you want it? Yeah. Yep. Okay, is that it? Uh, I went for the one from the Mega Drive. Okay, Steve? Uh, that's not a bad shout based on what he said earlier. Anyway, I went for FIFA 10. Okay. Well, I can tell you that Sonny is correct. It is mm. FIFA 95. What you said earlier about you get How these EA games cartridges bundled. are so weird. I know. Right? You know I was going to mention that earlier about the yellow thing yeah. on the side for the EA games because there was a few like that. I remember there being, wasn't there a golf game, for, an EA golf game for the Mega Drive? Yeah, that yeah. was the same. I think they yeah, all, the, like the NFL probably had the same as well. Yeah, that's oh, right, damn. Yeah, I always used to wonder about the kids, what do these do? Do they do anything? No. But no, they're just... Yeah, they literally don't. It's just a weird way that EA did their cartridges. It's so, it's proper weird. A grip. Bizarre. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a grip to pull it out. Ah, oh, one life left. Cool. Two what one. a shame. What a shame. It's been a close game so far. Hmm. Will this be the end of it? Right. So the the one where the closest one to the correct answer keeps their life. Uh, where has it gone? There it is. So how many games are there for the Xbox 360 Connect? That's Xbox 360 Connect specifically, not Xbox One. For the original Xbox 360 Connect. Yeah, good chunk. Is this open ended? Sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah it's closest. Right it? For the Connect. Oh. I'm good that you didn't say 360, because I actually know the answer. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or a roundabout figure. Uh, okay. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Can you flap your arms about like a lunatic? Okay. Okay. Okay, is that it? Uh, I've gone for 45. Okay. Steve? Uh, I went for 99. I know that's way out. Well, Steve, it's not way out, but the correct answer is 112. Whoa! Wow. I nearly went for 108. Wow. You're very close. Shit. Congrats. Wow, I Tying didn't realise there was that many. No. Yeah, there's, a, there's more than you'd think. A lot of, like, downloadable ones. Uh, and yeah. Connect World Season 2. Dross in there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of garbage. Connect World Season 2 is a good one because I was the QA tester on that. Go on, Tim. That's why it sucks. Yeah, that's why it's not very good, yeah. I was never very good at testing. Uh, (laughs) Um, I have literally run out of of questions. So I'll go for an open ended sudden death question, much like before. We've got one life each, haven't we? Left. Yeah. Yes, one life left. So I'm going to look up the answer now. But Steve knows how many Xbox 360 games there are, but how many games are there? For the PS3. Open ended. I just want to write answer. <laughs> Including digital games and physical games, I think. Yes. This does not include PlayStation Minis, PS1 Classics, or PS2 Classics. Just okay. PS3. Yeah. Okay. A big number. Okay. Um, Sonny? Um, I went for 930. Okay. Steve? I went for 2,200. Okay. Well, this week's winner, with a shockingly close, very close to the correct answer, is Steve. What? Steve has won. The correct answer was 2,278. Steve, wow. very close. Wow. Very, very close. Congratulations, Steve. Putting Thank it back. Oh. It is not all over. Oh, we got to for another Not game. all over yet. <laughs> so my answer on questions. that was based on the fact that... So I, I, one of my 
quiz questions for um, for you guys when I was host was how many Xbox 360 games were there, and I, and I believe oh. it's, I think it's like two thousand four hundred something like that. Wow. Um, so I went on that basis that PS3 would probably bring out a similar amount. So that's why I went yeah. to two thousand. Wow. Mine was shockingly Smart. low. I didn't Very even. Smart. I mean, if I hadn't have, if I hadn't have researched that question and you'd have asked me, I'd have gone below a thousand. Mm, yeah, definitely. I thought it would have been twice. I was surprised how big the number was. Wow. Um, but yeah, that's a lot of games. Congratulations, <sighs> Steve. Thank you. It's, it's still all it, I mean, It's not a whitewash, <laughs> but... Oh. Are you still in it? You still got this. I didn't see that. Yeah. You still got this. It's all good. <laughs> it's all cool. good. I think need to find more questions. You do, yeah. <laughs> like fit. Everyone, everyone counted you out, Steve. <laughs> did they? Have I, did that it? Everyone's been slayed, slayed to me on Discord. I don't like Discord, but join no, no, was great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. That's so, good. That's fun. Steve, so Steve's back in the running. It's not all over. It's Yay! Not. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's cool. I really, like I said, I really enjoy the eliminator. It's cool. It's really good. Really good. Education. Really good. Is this right correct? Then. No. <laughs> oh. Fair enough. Right. Um, <laughs> right. We feel like we've been going off rage there. Let's uh, let's talk some wrestling. Yes. Um, yes. We'll, we'll skim Definitely. through what's going on. There's a big uh, big weekend of wrestling this weekend. NXT. Uh, take over in your house is on Sunday night, and um, Impact Wrestling against All Odds is uh, this weekend as well on Saturday night. Mm-hmm. Um, let's have a look at what happened on Raw. Um, <laughs> Sheamus is looking for a challenger to his United States Championship. Um, here is Sheamus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Here he is, really. Um, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that's not a good look for him at all, is it? No. Yeah, <laughs> um, so um, Ricochet and Humberto Carrillo had a match, and mm-hmm. uh, it was a double count out. Sheamus called them gobsites, which is very funny. Good stuff, yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> yeah. Um, so um, I would imagine it's going to be a triple threat match at Hell in a Cell for the United States Championship. Probably. That I Sheamus guess. will almost definitely retain. Yeah. yeah, I'd imagine so. Uh, right, elsewhere, uh, Jackson Riker, for some reason, is now a face and has a new look. Nobody's going to get behind him because nope. nobody likes him. Yep. No, I think it's in, it's this is really risky. Yeah, exactly. When the crowd's about, this is risk- not risky. It's the fact is he's going to get no, booed out of the building. It yeah, is of stupid. Because he said stupid. stupid stuff in Twitter. He's, you know, a bit racist. No one's going to like him. Um, yeah. Yeah, he's a strange in, one. Yeah, he's in, you know he's out himself to be not a nice person in real life, so no one's mm-hmm. like him. Yeah, and yeah, <laughs> both of his um, both of his forgotten sons teammates have both been released. Yeah, yeah, yeah it doesn't make sense. Yeah, Stupid. Steve Cutler's actually going to Impact. They mm-hmm. um, he had yeah, like, yeah. a little vignette play uh, last week. Um, oh, cool. Diana Perrazzo, who is his real life girlfriend, works there, so that makes sense. Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, MVP. Uh, had a little chat with Kofi Kingston. I think they're maybe sort of trying to um, tease some sort of Kofi heel turn, maybe. Ooh, maybe. Join yeah. the Hurt Business. I don't see it. I don't see it happening, but you never know. Yeah, it could. It'd be cool, though. Yeah, it'd be cool. It's shaking up a bit. Um, biggest, su- biggest surprise of the night is Jeff Hardy yes. won an actual match on Raw. Great. Yes, well done. <laughs> I think I've read well, that was his first singles win since January. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in another surprising turn of events, RK Bro didn't become the number one contenders to the Raw Tag Team ch- titles. Instead, Ooh. the Viking Raiders did. Look how happy they are yeah. about it. Okay. Yeah, that's good. I, I, I like yeah, I like the Viking Raiders. Yeah, to be yeah. honest, my money was on RK Bro. 100% oh, yeah, it was. Yeah. But, uh, so, yeah. um, they're throwing a little bit of a curveball there, and I'm uh, I'm all for it, to be honest. Yeah, they're great. I'm not going to get much of a chance the first time around. And then, uh, I think it was it Eyeball got uh, hurt? Yes. Yeah. It's kind of put a, put a hold to their momentum. But now, finally, they might get another chance, which is good. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, next week, I return to watching Raw because. <laughs> yeah. Marie. 
The Eva Evolution is back next week on Monday Night Raw. We are Team Eva Marie on this podcast. Hashtag mm-hmm. We Don't Care. Um, nice. There's a rumor she's going to have some muscle with her. Muscle? Oh. Yes. Uh, the rumors are um, Mercedes Martinez, is that her name? Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. Or Piper Niven. Wow. Okay. Mm, oh, wow. Yeah. They're, the, they're the rumors. Okay, cool. I'll be happy with either, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, I like Mercedes which, Martinez a lot. Yeah, which says to me that um, Eva Marie is probably going to be a heel, which is cool. What That'll a work. surprise. Because yeah. she'll get booed. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah, of course she will. I mean, if the heel will be, it'll be interesting. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Um, Bobby Lashley turned up to a contract signing um, looking like this. <laughs> nice, yeah. cool. Yeah. yeah, very smooth. Their sunglasses are absolutely massive. Yeah, they are. <laughs> 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 like, like those jokes and lights you put on. Yeah, he's, he's, and his uh, yeah, his tie is very nice as well. Um, the, there's a stipulation for that fight now, isn't there? Uh, yes, there is. And um, Drew McIntyre broke the contract table with the sword because, of course, he did. Why not? Of course, he did. Yeah, why wouldn't he? Yeah. Look at MVP <laughs> there. Why is MVP carrying that stick around? I'm not sure. I think he's injured for real. He's hurt his ankle doesn't well, So much so that he needs a walking stick. He's old, so. isn't he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, remind me of the stipulation for that match. Is it? It's essentially in Hell in a Cell, isn't it? Uh, I believe it is, but I think the stipulation is that if Bobby Lashley wins, Drew cannot challenge for the title again whilst Bobby Lashley is champion. Okay, yeah. Drew's off to SmackDown then. Good, right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> only while only while Bobby Lashley's champion. Once he's not champion, Drew can go for it again. But. Well, to be honest, I'm happy about that because I'm sick of this. Yeah, match. It, it, that that's yeah. a good. It's Same. a good way to sort of, you know, if if I, I think Bobby Lashley wins, uh, so that's a good way to end that uh, chapter, and then Drew wins it again further down the line, or goes to SmackDown. So. Yeah, there's a. Uh, the rumor is there's a draft later draft, on. Yeah, later on. A um, couple of months' time or something like that. September yeah. after SummerSlam, I think that's when um, they're going to hit the big reset. Because usually, obviously, the Raw after Mania is the big reset and the big uh, sort of um, new season beginning. But obviously, with fans returning and stuff like that, I think SummerSlam is going to be the big reset this year. Mm. Yeah, yep, that makes sense. Um, and Shayna Baszler is definitely going to have a match with um, uh, Lily. Is that her name? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um, which she will definitely win. Lily, not not Shayna. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, I don't hate this spooky stuff as much as some people. You know, it's wrestling, isn't it? Well, this stuff's always been there. It's just... It is, but this is this is ridiculous, though. It's bullshit. I mean, come on. Man. <laughs> people boo Eva Marie yet they're here for this. <laughs> it's fine. It's whatever. All right. I, I, look, I'm glad you're optimistic. Yeah. Yeah. Your optimism makes me happy, all right? <laughs> but, it's just, it's just um, something different, you know? All right. That's fair. Hey, look, I'm, I'm willing to see where it goes. Next week, I'll be returning to watching Raw. Um, and, we, you know, we'll see how we go. Yeah. 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 Uh, right. So, um, yeah, man, NXT uh, TakeOver is this Sunday. It looks really good. Um, yeah. We'll get to the matches in a minute. And we are going to be doing a pre-show before the pre-show this Sunday. Uh, We'll be doing it like this. um, Unlike we were last time when we did it all together. But the next one for that will be SummerSlam. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to to be doing two pre-shows in a row because uh, obviously we've got NXT in your house this Sunday. Then we've got Hell in a Cell the week after. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So there you go. All the games and grabs for your games and grabs. All the grabs. <laughs> mm. All yeah, of man. the graps. All of the graps. Um is AEW on Friday again this week? I think so. Yeah, it's really thrown me off my schedule because oh, yeah. mm. because it's now on a Friday, the uh the showing of it on ITV on demand is delayed. How how so, much is it delayed by? They need to figure um, this out because it's not it's, good I for UK a, viewers. I think it's on a Monday. So, you know, like, so normally it'll be on a Wednesday and mm-hmm. then it'll air on a Friday. Yeah. So I just let that train go by. Um, and yeah. then, um, but now it's been on a Friday. So there's obviously that two day delay again. So it's like Sunday night, Monday, Monday night, something like that. Right. Okay. Um, so it really kind of, yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit arse back, feels a bit arse backwards. 
because um, mm. they put it on a Friday. And I'm guessing is this because of the NBA playoffs? Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's uh, I think it's like different days for a while because there's a Saturday night one soon as well. Oh really? Yeah, Cross. Saturday night dynamite. Apparently, they want it to be quite a big one. But um, speaking of uh, big things happening in AEW, this happened last week. Yeah. Uh, Andrade yeah. El Idolo became All Elite, and uh, Vicky Guerrero did a bunch of screeching, which was not my favorite way to introduce the guy. But it is what it is. Yeah, yeah, it was. I, I thought it was a, it was a shame really because he didn't get the fanfare that he probably should get. Yeah, is that is that Vicky Guerrero? That's um, Andrade Alilo's real life girlfriend, uh, Charlotte Flair. Oh, of course. Mm. Yeah. Here she is in action <laughs> on Raw this week. There we go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> naturally, naturally, she was in a tag match with the current women's champion, Rhea Ripley, because why would she not be? Yeah. yeah. Can yeah. they yeah. coexist? Can they? Or can they? Know? Can they? Same mm. shit all the time, innit? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Every yeah. time. So, yeah, man, Andrade is in uh, AEW now, which is great. Cool. Yeah, good. potential for matches there. Oof. Oh, God, yeah. It's going to be so good. But, you know, we looked a million dollars. Um, and, you know, it'd be cool to see him on Dynamite this week. Um, you know, see if I don't know when he's going to wrestle, uh, but it'd be cool to see more of him going forward on Dynamite. Um, also on Dynamite this week, we've got uh, Christian Cage taking on uh, Matt Hardy's latest acquisition to Team Money Matt or whatever it's called. Um, <laughs> and Helico, who I think is an absolutely incredible talent. And look how ripped yeah. Christian is on that picture. Yeah. That's a man. bit like Edge just uh, in the greatest shape of his uh, life. Yeah, he's yeah. so 63 years old. Awesome. He's like 102, <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, man. Um, it's time cool for looking- yeah. Cool, yeah, yeah definitely, yeah. Cool-looking trios match. We've got the Young Bucks and Brandon Cutler taking on Pac, Penta, and Eddie Kingston. You'll notice the absence nice. of John Moxley there. He's taking some time off because I think Rene Young is about to pop. Rene mm-hmm. Paquette, sorry. <laughs> and also we've got a tag team match. Um, Hangman Page and number 10 from the Dark Order taking on Brian Cage and Powerhouse Hobbs. That is a beefy tag team. That is a, <laughs> that's is. a seriously beefy tag team. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, Brian Cage that. takes up half, literally half the picture. Look at yeah. this. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I bet they go to um, Outback Steakhouse and they order the biggest. Like, we'll just have half a cow, please. Yeah. <laughs> for yeah. sure, yeah. yeah. Just, wipe, just wipe its ass and put it on the plate. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just eat it. We'll just eat it like that. It's fine. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, right. So, yeah, Impact have got a pay-per-view coming up this week. Cool. On Saturday, uh, against all odds. Uh, but this week on Impact, on the actual show, there's a little bit of a summit between Impact Wrestling and AEW. So um, we've got oh. Scott DeMore, there, Don Callis, and Tony Khan. They're all going to be on Impact this week for a summit. And it's, that's, so that could be quite interesting. See what the future holds for those two companies. And also mm. on Impact this week, We've got uh, W. Morrissey, formerly Big Cass slash Kaz XL, and he's taking on Willie Mack, um, who I really do like as well. I think he's excellent. Yeah. Um, let's have a quick look at what um, Big matches Cass are in. Big like Edge there. Big Cass does look a bit like Edge there. Look at this. Big Edge. He does. He does. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Big Edge. W. Morrissey. Sorry, I shouldn't call him Big Cass. That's not easy. That's not easy. Yeah, you're Mark. It's like you calling Daniel Bryan Dragon. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> not I've just been lazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fair. Um, it's good to see. Um, Ka- well, he calls himself Kaz XL everywhere else, apart from an impact. So Kaz XL, um, it's good to see him sort of back doing stuff and in in good shape mm. and good good frame of mind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And without Enzo. Uh, yeah, um, but they're, they're still <laughs> they're still doing stuff together. Um, out and about. Know. Yeah. Fair um, right. On the Impact pay-per-view this weekend, we've got Diana Perrazzo defending the Impact Wrestling Women's Championship, Knockouts Championship, should I say, against Rosemary. Cool. cool. We have a number one contender to the X Division Championship match. PT Williams, Trey Miguel, Ace Austin, Chris Bay, and Rohit Raju. Um, that should probably be absolutely outstanding. Mm. We have got uh, Satoshi Kojima against nice. Joe Deering. Of course, uh, Satoshi Kojima from New Japan Pro Wrestling. And of course, Kenny Omega defending the Impact World Championship against Moose. Moose. I think Moose is out of contract soon. Uh, He did sort of 
put like a teasing thing on Twitter the other day about potentially joining NXT for a run, oh. but we'll see. Obviously, if that uh, comes to fruition, that would be cool. I like Moose. He's good after mm. Yeah, good he is. Good times. And um, let's have a look also at the matches that have been announced for NXT TakeOver in your house for this weekend. So we've got an awesome six-man tag team winner-takes-all match. The NXT Tag Team Champions MSK and the North American Champion Bronson Reed defending all of their titles against Legado del Fantasma. And good yeah. God, that match is going to be awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, man. That's definitely. That's going to be so good. Ricardo Gonzalez is defending the NXT Women's Championship against Ember Moon. Also very cool. Yep. Very, yeah. very cool. Uh, another cool women's match on the card. We mentioned Mercedes Martinez earlier on in the show. She's going to be taking mm. on Zaya Lee, who is mm. in just fucking unbelievable shape. Yeah, ridiculous, yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. She is a super athlete. Uh, this next match yeah. I'm looking forward to very much. Obviously, they couldn't find yeah, yeah. a more up-to-date picture of the Million Dollar Man. Instead, they <laughs> to go for one from 35 years ago. Um, Cameron Grimes and LA Knight are going to go at it in a ladder match for the Million Dollar Championship, which is, of course, yeah. that is the belt across the shoulder of that 35-year-old picture of the Million Dollar Man. <laughs> and the cool. main event money. is a fatal five-way match. Um, oh, Adam Cole, God. Pete Dunne, Karrion Cross, Johnny Gargano, and Kyle O'Reilly will battle oh, it out for the NXT Championship. And holy shit, this match shit. has the most talent of any match of all time ever, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> that's going to be a great match. It's going to be a yeah. great match. It's a good yeah, That's, that's going to be a great show. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, so, yeah, a lot of wrestling to look forward to this week. Um, mm. We'd be remiss before we go if we didn't uh, quickly mention the releases that happened naturally after we finished recording our podcast last week. Yeah. So expect some tomorrow. <laughs> yep. Yep. Um, so Alistair Black uh, has been released. Boo. Yeah, um, it's a real shame. Some rich potential. So Jason came back as well. Kicked yeah. Biggie so hard he left the company. Yeah. <laughs> Budget cuts. Yeah, bullshit. Yeah. Uh, Lana has been released. Yeah. Okay. Uh, which, to be honest, I'm not surprised about. The one no. I am surprised about, Braun Strowman. Yeah, that's the... What? Yeah. <laughs> he was literally using in mid-feud, kind of, with, you know, Drew McIntyre and Bobby Lashley for the WWE title. Mm -hmm. And now he's gone. No, so I think, he's gone. So I think I think the thing with with Braun is that it, um, is the contract that he's on uh, is a rather large contract in comparison mm. to maybe some of the rest of the the roster. Uh, what it's like a million a bit, dollars a year or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's a million dollars a year now. Money, now money, you know, money. in terms of kind of like peak WCW, those numbers are, are nothing. I think Goldberg was on five million a year in the late nineties. Mm -hmm. But anyway, um, yeah. so yeah, that, that's. It, I guess it's just one of those that, yeah, he's on he's on a huge, a huge wage, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and if they haven't really got anything for him, um, I've yeah, read. I think, I, I, I think so. I've read a couple of things that it might this might be a a fire and rehire on a cheaper contract, which yeah, is. Maybe. But then I've also read that there's talks that Braun probably will be done with wrestling now, and he'll move on to to something else. Who I knows? don't think it. Well, he said himself that he had no interest in wrestling anywhere outside of WWE. Yeah. Um, I read something today that he was going to be charging indie promoters up to five figures um, if they want him if on their show. Him. Wow. But that's um, that. You know, that's you know him basically pricing himself out of the market. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. But I, I expect him back in WWE for sure. Yeah, I think he will be. Uh, uh, Ruby Riot, she's been released. Uh, Buddy That's Murphy, true. another very talented individual who could probably go anywhere. I expect him to go to Impact, probably. Um, he's been released. Santana Garrett, who I liked as well. She was due to make a debut on the main roster, as far as I'm aware. Yeah. And she's been released as well. They're the most recent ones. Um, so, you know, yeah. it's sad, but, you know, there are plenty of places for these guys and girls to work these days. WWE is not the only place. Um, so I fully expect mm. most of these guys to pop up somewhere else. Lana could potentially go and um, be with Miro now in AEW. Um, Alistair Black will work probably, and could, could work anywhere. I expect him to go to AEW or Impact or New Japan anywhere. Mm. But yeah, <laughs> a, lot of, uh, a lot of talented guys. There'll be a lot of people wanting to wrestle Ruby Riot, uh, who will now, I'm sure, go back to the moniker of Heidi Lovelace. Yeah. Um, 
yeah, she's super talented. They're all super talented people, man. It's just uh, it's a shame that they get released from the big contracts. The only one I really see going back to WWE is Braun Strowman in the long run. But yeah, uh, yeah. yeah it's a real shame. But, you know, wrestling moves on. Life goes on. People get released and they find a new home and it, it is what it is. So mm. um, I think that pretty much brings us to the end, unless anyone else has got anything they want to talk about. No. Um, I think that's about it, really. That's it. Okay. Right, um, so we will be back on Sunday. We're going to be doing the live pre-show before the pre-show for NXT TakeOver In Your House 2021. And yes. uh, we will be back, with, of course, with a normal episode next week as well, where we'll talk all things E3, um, oh, you yeah. know, the stuff that was revealed, all that stuff, and we'll talk about NXT TakeOver as well. And, yeah, so before we go, do head over to... Uh, 13tenapparel.bigcartel.com and use the code games and graps to get 20% off your complete order. That is mm-hmm. 13tenapparel.bigcartel.com. Go and support Josh. He is a friend of the show. Yep. And yeah, that's pretty much it, dude. So um, this has been episode 146 of the Games and Graps podcast. We are a weekly video game and wrestling podcast that posts across podcast services everywhere. 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 And youtube.com forward slash games graps. Go follow us on all the social medias. That's at games and graps, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. My name is Sonny G, and I've been with Finn Steele. Goodbye. And Steve. See you later. And we'll see you on Sunday and next week. Take it easy, guys. Goodbye. Thanks so much. Goodbye. Toodle tip. And bye bye.